What we're looking at here is a severe angular injury to the spine itself. It's forced into an angular motion that exceeds the normal limits of that motion. The spinal support ligaments are damaged, and when the spinal support ligaments are damaged, the only place where they have to swell is into the nerve. So here you can see excessive angulation. The spinal support ligaments are significantly damaged and they swell right into the nerve. This can occur whether there is a disc herniation or not. But if there is a disc herniation, it causes a complication. This is excessive translation. Again, you'll see significant damage to the non-disc spinal support ligaments. This is picked up on X-ray analysis. And again, when these ligaments, these spinal support ligaments are damaged, they swell right into the nerve. We can have a severe spinal support ligament damage without disc herniation, but it's very rare to have disc herniation without severe damage to these spinal support ligaments, which is why they should be tested. When we go to the cranial cervical junction, there is no disc involved, so it's all spinal support ligament analysis, and this analysis is done on X-ray. We can see abnormal translation on specialized stress X-rays in the upper cervical spine. These tissues again swell right into the nerve. In this case, the C2 nerve and the spinal instability that results from this causes a myriad of symptoms.